Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Futhan Across Gacha videos with me. So we do have a brand new banner as you can tell here. What usually this one means basically is all the divas are currently getting a multiplier in terms of um, their uh, proficiency leveling up. So whenever you play a song, you always earn points to power up your divas who are in your team. That's basically what it means. So if you guys are trying to power up maybe your beloved waifu or husband though, whoever is standing basara. This is the time to max out the, uh, the diva proficiency for every single song out there. But of course, don't forget we are still currently going on um, through the event. But today is actually the last day of the event for Holy Lonely uh, Live. <laughs> I'm trying to read the title of the event on a tiny tab on my screen. Oh god. So anyways, yes, today is basically the last day of this event. So And it's also the first day that Basara's um, gacha begins, um, which has his uh, sing Sengoku style um, kimono design. Um, sadly to say, you know, if you want to see him perform that special live sequence for the song, um, well, today is the last day to do so, although the song technically is in the regular live section where you can go ahead and, you know, have it played. Um, but I'm, I'm not too sure if the song has its uh, unit version uh, available right now. I, I, I haven't really been playing the regular lives uh, much recently ever since. Well, basically it's event after event, so you don't really have the time to go and play regular lives. Uh, and usually between day, uh, between events, there are certain days where they may, might have one day free to do so. But you know, you just kind of want to stop playing Utama Cross temporarily. You know, give your mind a rest, your fingers a rest, and then uh, do something else. You know, especially if you're someone like me who grinds Utama Cross on a regular basis. You know, you want to take a break from it. You know, so you don't really play the regular lives unless. Unless there's a mission that requires it. And speaking of missions, if you guys have not checked out the previous video that I did, um, which was talking about the, the missions um, for the New Year presents uh, mission card, um, go check that video out. I've already explained what the missions are. So if you have a hard time um, figuring out why you can't complete a certain mission, make use of that video to help you out. Um, to gain all those wonderful packets that you can exchange for rare items um, that helps to power up your episode place. So let's not dilly-dally any further, let's dive into the gacha page and of course, um, you know, go figure out Basara's episode plate if it's actually useful or not if you're a regular hardcore Utama Cross player or if you're just a Basara stand. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plates breakdown. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, especially since I turned to Utama Cross videos, <laughs> mainly because, well, there isn't really much to talk about. There's no new effects or anything like that, but it's always nice to see what you're trying to aim for. So looking at its plus 25 luck value, fully powered up episode plate. I think this is probably one of Basara's very few episode plates that's pink. <laughs> yeah, it's very pink, uh, considering the border, then of course the, the series of songs that this plate supports, then of course the costume design has a bit of pink and purple in there, so it looks very pinkish. So 3876 total score, um, well balanced stats all around across the board. Um, yeah, so S rank skill total up, so yeah, units total is boosted by 30% up, which is not too bad. Um, it's pretty good as a center episode plate, I would suppose. 30% uh, is not the highest we've seen, but decent enough. Of course, you want to pay attention to the other three divas who can equip with Basara's episode plate, which is very important nowadays because of the um, diva improvement event, which we are going to see at the end of this month. So take a, uh, pay attention to those of you who are using um, Mikomo, Reina, or even Min Mei as their main divas um, to power up. And of course, Basara. You know, of course, he, he owns this plate, so... <laughs> Alright, active skill, well, for 20 seconds, you'll have an easier time tapping note. So this episode plate is not really meant to be used as a center position, but it can be if you are uh, trying to practice songs or maybe trying to get better results. Um, mainly because you always seem to miss notes due to a certain timing. 
um, but you don't really need active skills like this to help you improve your timing. Maybe it's just a personal self-discipline matter, or you could always, you know, adjust the uh, note calibration in the settings to to see whether you should, you know, have the uh, note sensitivity in, increased or decreased in terms of speed when it comes to your own personal, uh, you know, finger responses. All right, life skill. So this is the one that is mainly important for this episode plate, which is the S rank skill. Score, repeat, and damage. So it is the same as um, you know the score up and damage. Just that this time round is more for a score repeat ability. And when score repeat is involved, well, basically it means that it is a skill used for long duration songs. So songs that are technically about two and a half minutes to three minutes long or longer depending on the song itself and of course it's used mainly for pink series songs because the episode belongs uh the episode plate belongs to that series itself so the last page is always the most important does it come with a special note and sadly to say no it doesn't and it's been a while it's been a while since we've seen an episode plate that actually has a special note attached to it um, be it the healing, the song, the score improvement, or the item drop rate, or even the fighter um, notes, and of course the accuracy, uh, or rather the attack phase notes. So yeah, the last two aren't exactly very important, ex uh, except for maybe when um, we come with events, uh, or we face events that actually have a very powerful enemy within the Valkyrie attack phase. So we haven't seen events like that in a while. Um, Dana was trying to, uh, you know, have something like that back in the days, um, but ever since then, they haven't really tested much around with this uh, functionality within the game itself. So yes, who knows? Maybe after the inquiries that they did with us, um, they might change things up a bit in the future. Who knows? Let's see how things goes. So yeah, is Basara's plate actually useful in terms of high score purposes? I would say technically yes, especially for a pink. Uh, series songs um, that are very long durations. Um, it has a pretty good high uh, high total score, so definitely a very good plate to look out for, especially if you don't have a pink series song, uh, you know, episode plate that is boosting in terms of high score purposes. And of course, if you're a Basara fan, you definitely need this plate because Basara doesn't really get a lot of Pink Series episode plates. So it's definitely a must for a Basara fan out there. Of course, you will want to aim for Basara's brand new episode uh, plate costume. Um, yes, this costume that Basara is currently wearing inside this episode plate illustration is exclusive to this gacha. So that's what we are here for. We're going to toss in our singing stones to try and attain an episode plate or at least a few plates with the costume points alone. Um, so yeah. Alright, so I haven't yet to pull my single free pool, so let's do this first uh, and see how the luck is for today. You know, you can always test the waters by seeing how the animation sequences or whether there's any loading for this single pool to estimate how good your luck is throughout the day. So one Valkyrie animation is pretty good considering for a single pool. Um, of course, if you get three Valkyrie animations, um, three planes in the Valkyrie animation, I think that's a sign that you'll have a good pool later on. So this is pretty decent for a single pool, yeah? So you might expect a moderate um, result for the template pool. So here we go guys, we're going to go with the discounted template pool. I don't have enough for a second pool for Batsara sadly to say. But as long as we get an episode plate with the costume points, I think I'm good. Because I, I have enough episode ops to technically unlock Batsara's costume. If it doesn't cost too much that is. <laughs> okay, so let's do this guys. Template episode plate pool. Um, at a discounted rate, hopefully we do get some nice episode plates and we do get a bit of loading there so that's a good sign all right and here we go one two three like i said a pretty mediocre animation so yeah testing water is always good uh oh so okay so we do get three red boxes at the second blink all right so this is an old episode plate all right so the hope is still there considering that we've still got so many plates to go through. So the second red box did not evolve at all, so another old episode plate. Nothing with Basara's costume points yet. 
Okay. Lots of frontier going on though. And Delta. That's a I'm across seven love. Alright, here's the last red box. And oh my goodness, what is with this pool? It is pretty decent, like I said. <laughs> I kinda expected it to be pretty decent. But uh where is the Macross 7 love? I didn't even get an episode plate with Basara's costume points at all. Oh no. So I guess um I'm gonna have to try and dig out another hundred singing stones somewhere. Um to do another template pool eventually, cause that's kind of a bummer that I not get any episode plates with um, Basara's costume points at all. Oh god, why is this happening? So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Across Gacha videos. What do you guys think of the episode plates? What do you guys think of the missions that's going on for the New Year um, present um, missions? Uh, and of course, if you guys have watched the video, let me know in the comments down below that um, yeah, you've watched the video. Comment, I've watched the video. <laughs> Of course, leave a like to this video if you enjoy and appreciate all the content that I've always put out um, for you guys. And of course, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell notification icon. And of course, if you guys are already following my content and have not subscribed, what in the world are you doing? Hit that subscribe button as well. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!